What's up, everybody? This is your boy, DJ Arco. And I am the queen, and this is Boss Talk. Today, we actually have another one of our spectacular guests, our, one of our spectacular skaters. You guys see her all over the place. Everywhere, on everywhere. social media. <laughs> um, you were featured in the uh, Most Unique Skaters. Yes. And you're also a dope barber, I must say. I saw your skills. All right. So, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we have the one and only Miss Tina Two Wheels. Hey. So, what's going on with you? How you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Not the mushrooms around the house. <laughs> okay. We all around the house right about now. We want to get out. Right. <laughs> right. So, so we're going to go ahead and kick this off with the number one question we always ask, and that is, how long have you been skating, and when did you start? I've actually been skating for 20 years now. Okay. All right. And yep, I started in 2000. In 2000? Okay. And, yeah. and what actually got you into skating? Um... Let's see. Well, when I was younger, I never skated really when I was younger. My mom loved to skate, but wow. I didn't really like it. Yeah, she <laughs> liked to skate, but I wasn't feeling it back then. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so when I was around 19, that's when I actually started skating. Wow. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now, into the ring, and mm -hmm. it was pretty cool. So I mm -hmm. thought I'd get into it. What do you think changed for you? Um, I don't know. I really, I, I can't even tell you how I got to the rink or who I went with or anything. <laughs> well, we don't even care. You, you're back. You're in the rink, and that's all that matters. So, hey, we all come through different paths. So right. we're, we're happy that you came. Definitely, definitely. Thank you. So, how did you go from four down to two? Like, what made yeah. you decide to, you know, take these other wheels off, and let me just do something different. Um, well, that was actually when I, when I first started skating, it was a guy mm -hmm. named Thomas Bowie. He was at Skate King mm -hmm. and he was skating. He, uh, he took his back wheels off to see if he can go around the rink like that. Mm -hmm. And so he did that and I wanted to take mine off, but I never put them back on. <laughs> <laughs> I just learned. And that's when I first started skating. So mm -hmm. I actually learned how to skate without the back wheels. I never learned how to skate with all the wheels, couple skate, all that stuff. Never, never. Wow. Wow. That's actually interesting. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. I mean, I guess there I guess there's no no way for you to know how it was to, to get the balance because you were never on four. So you are always balanced on two. Yep. I mean, I stayed falling. I was on the ground. <laughs> you know, I was on the floor, yeah. <laughs> And they actually, um, they actually used to ban me from skating because I, you know, I just had them taken off. So the back of my skate, they still had the, you know, the what is the, it, the truck or whatever. That yeah. Was okay. Yeah, the metal okay. Part. So it was a while where I couldn't even go to the ring because of my skates, and then I got them modified and got a stop okay. and put on the bottom. So mm -hmm. now was it uh, was it difficult for you to get them modified or? Um. Not really. I had a, a friend to uh, model find for me. Mm -hmm. Actually, Greg from Skate King. Okay. Okay. He okay. did them for me. Yeah. So Skate King is your home rink? Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Skate King, that's all we got. <laughs> hey, hey. Sometimes yeah. that's all you need. You got you yeah. got loyalty. It's there. It's always there. That's yeah. all you need. Because at one point in time, you, got, you guys actually had a couple of rinks there because I remember going down there. Um, uh, I, I actually lived in Milwaukee. I'm in the Midwest, mm -hmm. and we used to come down there for the skills on wheels. And yeah, uh, we have um, Coach Light. That's where they were having their Friday night session uh -huh. uh, skills on wheels. Okay. Yeah, so I used to do their. Uh, yeah, Coach Light. I used to do their Tuesday sessions. Mm -hmm. Now we had Saints. That was the. Uh, yeah. That I was the rink we used to go to. Okay. Is is that are, are those rings still there or? Saints has been gone for years now. Oh, okay. um, we That's had the amazing. Palace. They've been gone for years. Mm -hmm. So right now we have Skate King and uh, Coach Light as far as the ones that are still open. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Well, how often do you get to move around in the uh, skate world when, when we were able to move around? Um, well, when I first started skating, I was skating like five, six times a week. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. But now... 
I, I may skate mm-hmm. twice a month. Twice a month. Oh, oh wow. That's a pound, right? <laughs> that's more, I guess that's life, right? Yeah, I do more out of town skating than skating, like actually. At okay. Home. Okay. okay. I like going to different cities and checking out their sessions and rinks and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Now, what has skating been for you throughout your journey? Um, everybody has their story about how it either saved their life or it was uh, their stress release or, you know. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a stress reliever. Uh-huh. Um, that and going to the gym. So mm-hmm. I've never drank or smoked. So skating and working out, is, that's pretty much what I do. Yeah. Skating, working out and work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So it's great exercise too. Mm. Oh, it's amazing, amazing exercise. I mm. always look at um the benefits of skating when um in relation to even running or something like that. It's just yeah. a, a total workout. Especially um, being skating. on two wheels, because that really works your calf yeah. muscles, huh? Yeah, it works your thighs a lot because I have my knees bent. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So it really works your thighs. Yeah. Wow. It's definitely great work. What kind of boots do you wear on your skates? Are those pers- um, customized or? Uh, the gold skates I have are actually a sure grip. Sure. Yeah. Uh, the name of the boot and all the technicalities, yeah. I've never got into it. So you have to <laughs> say this, this is the one that feels really, good. <laughs> yeah, it just, yeah, I just get in the skates and I roll. I don't. Mm. I don't pay attention to the rest of the stuff. Now, my black skates that I had, those were actually some some old boots that I found at a thrift store uh-huh. and then uh, made into skates. Oh, that's so dope. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. so dope. I'm very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> thrifty is the word. Thrifty. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thrifty cheap. Hype, whatever. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> so are you licensed, a licensed barber? Um, and how yeah. how did you get into that? Because I know when um, our Cole had told me he was like that they were in uh, Memphis. in Memphis. He was mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, they got a barber in here." I was like, "A barber?" I was like, she go. <laughs> I was like, "That girl is cutting up some hair. She is cold <laughs> with it." And you know, I had just gotten my hair cut before I came down there, and I wish I hadn't. Yeah, I was like, "Man, I should have got my hair cut." <laughs> I got you together. <laughs> <laughs> but next time I see y'all, be sitting in your chair. So you yeah, know, <laughs> yeah, I already talked to Michael, so he has his. Uh, Whenever you have this party, I'll be there cutting too. Oh, okay. I will be in okay, your chair. Okay, so man. now he gonna come looking rugged. So don't judge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's don't coming judge with his me. tips. <laughs> <laughs> don't judge me. Because <laughs> you know they always try to get fly before the party. Now they don't even have to get fly. Just come. There you go. Right. Just come. There you go. Yep. Yeah, but that's but I dope. Started off, uh, in two thousand, I started off working in barbershops doing braids. Oh, okay. Like different braids for guys, designs, and stuff like that. Uh huh. And so I had been working in shops for 10 years and like I would just watch guys getting their lines pushed back and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. I just like, I was, I was like, it can't be that hard to cut hair. So right. that's when I went to barber in 2010. Nice. Okay. So nice. I've been cutting for 10 years now. Nice. Nice. Wow. Now I've seen on your Instagram, uh, you had, I think you braided and cut the hair of, I, I cannot pronounce the name. Ray Shrimmer? 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 Is it Shrimmer? Yeah. Uh, Quite <laughs> Lee. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the easy way out. Quite okay. Yeah. Quite Lee. Yeah. 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 Ye
you know, Forex trading. You ever heard of Forex? No. Do tell. Yeah, Forex trading. That's uh, like currency exchange. That's where the banks make their money with our money. We put our money in the bank and then they mm-hmm. go in, they trade it, and they make money off of it. Oh. So anyone interested in getting into that, definitely hit me up. Does it take a large um, initial start to, to get into the trading? Because I think a lot of people, they, they kind of shy away because they're like, oh, I don't really have any money. So I need so much money or they think that they need a certain amount no, it's, of money. Yeah, it's, it's just what whatever you want to start at because the training and teaching is there. So if your okay. account is only $50, then your account would grow a little slower than someone with $50,000. But you can still yeah. do the same thing. So do you watch it or do you help them or you, like they get into it and then someone else becomes their trader? I, I guess, are you a trader or you just get enrolled people or how does oh, it work? Oh, I'm I'm actually learning myself also. Okay. So I won't be the one okay. teaching anyone anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm say, I can get you there. <laughs> 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 I leave that to the professionals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow. Now I remember when uh, I'm actually Skaters Connect was first starting out, we actually reached out to you for some yeah. footage and everything like that. Mm-hmm. And we, we th- thank you for that. Yeah. Um, oh, no problem. Because you was one of our first uh, supporters, you know, and, and you're just like, skaters. Yeah, yeah, and feature skaters. So definitely <laughs> appreciate you for that. So, and as you can see, we have grown since then. Yeah. And yeah. we are still That's growing. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, we are still growing. So definitely appreciate you for that. So now, it, recently, you actually um, was on Instagram with Mike Epps. Yeah, on his Thursday live. On his Thursday, Thursday live. Sunday live. You know, yeah. he did all the time. <laughs> uh-huh. so, so how did that come about? Um, Actually, that was uh, from his brother. I know his brother. Mm-hmm. He had told him about, um, about my two-wheel skating. Mm-hmm. And they were trying to get me on there the, the Friday before, mm-hmm. but couldn't find my the Instagram name. I guess so many people requested to join the live. Yeah, yeah. So, so when it came back around, when I joined it, then he was able to catch my name. Okay. So, nice. That's how that went. Nice. He's very cool, very funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had actually saw some of that. You know, um, I try to be on there every Thursday. I don't, I miss him on Sundays, but on Thursday he's. He's just crazy. Just you never know what's gonna come out of his mouth, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, but it's just a good, good session. I mean, yeah. if you're at home, just mm-hmm. get your little skates out and join in. Yeah, yeah. So for you, since the rings have been closed, well, I know you said that you know when you're at home, you only skate about twice a month. Yeah. So now that we've been in this quarantine phase, have you been finding yourself doing a little bit more at home? Yeah, actually, um. Two years ago, I actually got like a little a area in my basement made into like a skate room. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, with during the quarantine, I've been able to skate a lot more in the basement, in the kitchen, in the living room, wherever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Around the house. <laughs> yeah. So it affords you so much more time. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Nice. nice. So I I see you rolling around in in a dress, and I'm just like, now this is total total confidence. Cause I know I'd be scared. I'm gonna bust my <laughs> butt and all my balloons be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and I never actually even thought of that. <laughs> you did it? <laughs> nope. I skated in the dress at the yeah, the legends, the yep. legends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I did another video for my birthday. I was skating in a dress and a skirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then another uh, party I had on a skirt. I never really, I you know, I never thought of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, oh, I'm loving this, but I'm just thinking, oh, I could just see that video of somebody posting of me <laughs> falling and, uh, and my legs going in different directions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. that's, that's too much. That's too much. So besides the um, Instagram and uh, the multitude of videos that we've yeah. seen you in, yeah. um, has there been anything else that you've done that might have been a little bit more obscure? Let's see. I was in Roll Bounce in 2005. Mm-hmm. I was in there skating. I was actually in a, a movie called White Boy Rick. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, you know, I actually older. watched that movie. It was a really good movie. I'm going to have to no, go back watch and watch it. it because they did have a lot of scenes there where there was at a roller skating. 
So yeah, I had a. Uh, I was cutting a, uh, one of my clients hair. He asked me. He said somebody was in a movie that looked like you. I was like, oh, what movie was it? Mm-hmm. He said, White Boy is it? I was like, oh, it was me. I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna watch it one day. <laughs> oh my lord! Yeah, I do. I do not watch TV. I no. was in M- Empire. And I still haven't seen that episode either. I saw whatever they posted on Facebook. Okay. Other than that, I haven't watched it. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Seems like you're too busy. You just got too much stuff going on. I know. Yeah. So what are some of the things yeah. that you'd like to do? Whether it be skating or not, just what you'd like to yeah, besides do. Besides cutting um, hair. Working out. I, like to, I like to travel, do stuff with my kids. I have two girls. They're mm-hmm. 11 and 13. Mm-hmm. Um take them on trips, do amusement parks, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Now, are they skaters too? Um, They skate, but they don't, I mean, they skate, they don't roll, they skate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like, yeah, they skate. They roll, that's not a gene. That's, that's acquired talent. <laughs> <laughs> so what do they think about you, I mean, your roller skating and the many things that you've done? Um, they don't think much about it because it's been all their life, so it's nothing. Okay. okay. Like, I said just yeah, used to it then. Yeah. 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 Like you're doing your skating thing again. So. <laughs> oh, mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they don't really trip off of it. Mm-hmm. Nice, 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 nice. That's so amazing. So what's yeah. next for you? Uh, do you have anything else planned for yourself? Anything? Yeah. Um, any other goals or anything that that you want to do? You know, as far as skating. <laughs> As far as skating, I like to do some commercials. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, probably just some commercials, with simple stuff like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nothing much. <laughs> now, being in the St. Louis area, um, I know you, you guys skate a lot in Memphis. Because uh, for Lux Party last year, I think I remember seeing you there. Well, yeah, yeah. you were there cutting hair. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you were there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... <laughs> So, like, for the Midwest, you have a lot of travel between Milwaukee and Chicago. So, for you guys in St. Louis, it's a lot of traveling between St. Louis and Memphis? Oh, yeah. Like, at the Memphis party, we had the, the biggest turnout. We oh, had okay. the most people <laughs> mm-hmm. in the house from St. Louis to Memphis. Wow. Yeah. wow. I think I think we have good turnouts in Chicago also. I didn't make last year. Mm-hmm. But... The last time I did go, we did have a good turnout in Chicago. Yeah. You guys are kind of like almost in the middle. Yeah. So -hmm. so you guys kind of get the best of both worlds. So, yeah. Yeah. So do you ever get like a lot of strange looks from people or anything (laughs) like that? You you know, probably not from the regular skaters, but if you were to go to a regular session. Yeah. 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 From a lot of new people. Yeah. I've I've seen it all and heard it all. Mm Mm-hmm. Heard people ask that I, I couldn't afford the back wheels. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, that's that's a unique twist but, on it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's interesting. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> but now earlier you also mentioned that you don't really couple skate or anything like that. Um, is that just something that you just don't do or you just haven't really gotten into it? Or is it because you, the way that you skate, it makes it difficult? All of the above. When I was younger and started skating, I didn't want to be bothered with people. So that was another reason that I took my back wheels off. Mm-hmm. So okay. when people ask a couple skate, it's like, oh, no, I can't, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but after that, I mean. Right now, it would, it would more be because of the uh, the rhythm or whatever. I don't skate the same as mm. everyone else. Without the back wheels and your balance is all different. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. Are different. So the only person I can and have couple skated with is Leo. I was, I was, I was only just has about one. to say that. Yeah. So, yeah. Just about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> so I remember seeing. That's my, that's my skate partner. If I'm, if I'm a couple skate, it's going to be with Leo. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I actually remember seeing a video of you guys skating. And I was actually I think about it's to mention Capital that. Skate like, Fest. Yeah, guys. and yeah. that was that was our first time ever skating together. Yeah. Oh wow, wow, yeah. wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we actually had the privilege of speaking to him not too long ago, mm-hmm. and um, okay, yeah, he's a really dope guy. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of 
history with him. He's been doing it for a long time as well. Yeah. A long time. Yeah, so. way, yeah, before me. Yeah, yeah. But that's definitely a fun fact about you. Um, I actually didn't know that you start off on two, <laughs> two wheels. And just was like, you know, I don't yeah. need the other ones, so I ain't gonna worry about it. So so you've never skated on quads then, all four. Uh nope. I had them when I first started skating, but mm-hmm. I didn't know how to skate. So like mm-hmm. as far as learning how to skate, that was with the two wheels. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I tried to skate with four wheels a couple years back, and I fell. Mm. It didn't work out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, because I'm so used to nothing being in the back that the back wheels just got in the way. Mm. Wow. Wow, that, that is, that's real interesting because you would think that the four would level you, but if you're not used to mm-hmm. that, then it's, it it would throw, throw you, you off. off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and for the movie White Boy Rick, I had to put the uh, put on rental with all four wheels, so. Uh, Whoa. Maybe that's I why I didn't recognize you. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you fall? Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> no, I, you know, I don't think I fell on camera. I fell on camera. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I, didn't, I haven't seen it yet, so I don't even know. Uh, I don't know if they showed my skates. I think the guy said he just saw my face in it. Oh, uh, okay. 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 I wasn't okay. doing nothing spectacular. I took the skates and those coming. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. Is I actually uh, whenever I see movies and their skate scenes, I'm always yeah, looking. Yeah, you're always looking to I'm see looking who you like, know. Like, yeah, yeah, I know her. Yeah, yeah, somebody. Know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have to watch the movie then, so you can yeah. see yourself. You know, you find time to. Now I'm gonna have to look at Empire. I, I haven't seen Empire um ever, but now that mm-hmm. you said that, now I'm gonna have to go. To- yeah, I never seen it myself either. Yeah, <laughs> now I have to go to the, the, the scenes and see where you are. So yeah, post you that you too. See, see me on there. You'll see Josh. You'll see Tasha. Okay. Yeah. Mm. There's a bunch of us on there. Um, so how do you feel when you actually see yourself skating? Mm. Do you ever think like, well, well, for myself, I don't have a lot of videos of me skating, so I don't really watch myself skate. So when I see, so when I do see a video, I'm kind of like. Oh, okay. That's you know, kind of like oh, that's what that I look like. Is, that guy's interesting. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's interesting. Okay, all right. So, um, I, I don't know. I guess a lot of times I just look and critique what I can do better mm-hmm. or different or different moves to try, mm-hmm. just stuff like that. So how? I mean, you're not. When you, I guess, when you think of new moves, because sometimes you may see someone that are on all fours, they do a move. Then you have to try to, if it's something that you want to do, you have to maneuver that to a two wheel move. Like, how do you decide on new moves? Or what, what kind of um, things excite you when you're when you're doing skating and you want to try something new? Um. Hmm. I don't, I'm, I'll be 39 next month, so at this age, I'm not really. <laughs> yes, hey, I'm just <laughs> so you get what you get, yo. <laughs> hey, if, if ain't nobody cutting no check, I'm not really. <laughs> you ain't look, say, I'm not trying. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll y'all try, heard I'll that if y'all want crazy, something yeah. new, y'all need to stop dropping them coins. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I mean, I'm I'm pretty cool just doing the same same cool stuff. I mean, I might try something different every now and again, but. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but was it hard like when you when you started to build your your repertoire of moves and stuff because you were so different like when you wanted to try something new back in the day like was it hard for you or was it kind of like a smooth thing you just kind of have to learn to I guess shift your weight? Um it's definitely not easy cause, Okay. Yeah, it's definitely been more difficult to try certain things because you know you don't have those rules back there to fall mm-hmm. back on. Right. You do have to shift your weight a lot. Like most of the time, like on on all of my videos that you've ever seen, my legs are hurting. Mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. Yes, it's, it's a workout. It hurts. Don't yeah. feel good, but it's still fun. And then, right. I mean, I like a workout. I like a challenge. So mm. that's why I do it. That's why I was going to um, ask you how, how much of a physical demand is it on your body? You know, like the fatigue and everything like that. So. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. So, but you, you just answered it. So, yeah. have you ever had any injuries? Because yes. you said you fell in the beginning a lot, but have you had any like serious injuries? No, never. Thank God. Wow. 
Wow. Yep. That is that uh, is totally amazing. My, uh, my boy Chad Skate Life, he had posted a video not too long ago. Um, it was I think it was a video from the Legends in the Sky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then a guy had commented under there. He was like, well, her knees are going to be gone and shot by the time she's 35. Mm-hmm. And say, oh, oh sorry. So I com- yeah, <laughs> I commented on it. I'm like, well, thank you. I'll be 39 next month. <laughs> <laughs> God bless. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. Wow. Yeah. And maybe that, uh, some of that, I'm sure, is attributed to the fact that you do like to work out. So your body is already in a fit mm-hmm. state. So it's not like, you know, one of those shock and awe type of things. It's um, yeah, yeah, my body's pretty much used to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's still definitely a workout. Wow, wow! So y'all heard it here first. Like, don't don't think it's the easy thing. She rolling and gliding, and it looks smooth. There's a lot but of she work. She feel it. <laughs> <laughs> but she's feeling it. So off her ice pack or a bottle of water, or something. Right. Next time you see her, yeah, some icy hot. Bring something. You know, we gotta help a sister out. Yeah. <laughs> that's all right so right now with everything going on have you heard anything um about the the uh, state of the skating in st louis yeah. um are you guys still under lockdown or um, are you guys able to move around a little bit um i mean our lockdown hasn't been like as strict i mean because mm-hmm. if you look on facebook everybody's still doing everything they wanted to do i guess yeah, okay. um, but the rink is definitely closed. I'm not sure of an opening date for that. Okay. Some businesses are starting to open back up this week. Mm-hmm. So, okay. yeah, but I haven't heard anything on the rink opening back. Okay. okay. So once all of this is lifted up, where's the next place that you plan on traveling to? Or hopefully Probably. traveling to. We say hopefully, yeah. you know, if yeah. there's right. happening. So, yeah. Yeah. What's next on your radar? Probably the first, uh, the first skate party that opens up. Okay. You don't care which one. Just go be. Yeah. <laughs> well, we look no forward to seeing you be, there. But I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing you there then. So yeah, definitely. Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick, how can the skaters get in touch with you? Um, they can reach me on Instagram. My Instagram is the number two. Wheels, W H E E L S, Barbet, B A R B E T T E. That's okay. Tina. No, no, no. That's two wheels, Barbet, <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Facebook, it's the same thing, two wheels, Barbet, but the number two is spelled out T W O. T W O. All right. There you yeah. go. There you go. So if you guys have any other questions for her, anything yeah. like that, if you, you want know, to make hey. some extra income, they, you want to get yep. your hair cut? Yep. <laughs> Definitely. Need some workout You want to get your braids done? Because the girl's a beast yep. with the braids. <laughs> Definitely. So are you doing braids at, uh, in Memphis? I, I'll come look at Raggedy, no. too. <laughs> now, braids, braids take a little longer. I want yes. to skate. <laughs> she said she ain't got no time for that. <laughs> She'll chop you up with no braids. Gotcha. Yeah, great. It's like a while. Yes, ma'am. We're gonna, we gonna miss the session. <laughs> well, we definitely appreciate you taking yeah. out the time of your busy schedule. Definitely. Um, we know that you I had... appreciate you guys having me on here and thinking of me. Oh yes, yeah, ma'am. no doubt, no, no doubt. Because uh, we know that you have limited time to actually be on here. So, um, mm-hmm. but again, we, we we appreciate it, and we will definitely see you. One of these parties. One of these parties. <laughs> Somebody's yeah. going to open up. Somebody's going to open up and let the floodgates open and let all the skaters bombard them and rush, right. rush inside. So, Whoever has their first party, they're going to get paid. Oh, yeah. yeah they yeah. definitely will. Definitely will. So, so definitely give our love to the St. Louis skaters out yeah. there. Yeah. And, and we thank will. you and appreciate you so much. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Mm-hmm. All right, well, thank you all.